good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma. Now don't forget to go and subscribe. We've got loads more back to school and stationery hauls coming up over the next few weeks. I'm going to be doing a Home Bargains one. I'm going to be doing a Hamer one. I'm probably going to be doing a Matalan one. So make sure you subscribe. So we are back with another video. I had a couple of weeks off because I was on holiday with the kids, but I am back and I'm ready. And I was like, I need to come back with a strong video. I need to come back with a video I know they're going to love. Two of my favourite things. We've got the pound land, we've got the stationery, and combined, we've got the pound land stationery back to school hall. Can we all sing the song together? Stationery, stationery. I really, really, really love stationery. Now, pound land is not particularly always great for stationery, but they have excelled themselves. So much so that when I went to the till, I said to the lady, I just have to point out how good your stationery range is this year. And she's like, mm, okay, Val, thanks. The Poundland I went to is the one in West Bromwich because I always get asked which Poundlands I go to. So I go to one in West Bromwich. I also go to one in Oldbury, but this is from the West Brom store. And if you live in the Midlands, it's a really good one and it's not far from a Primark. Oh, 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 double whammy. So I've organized it into three sections for you. I'm going for monochrome, I'm going for rose gold, and then I'm going for kiddo stationery. So, you know, most of the stationaries for the children, I'm lying, most of the stationaries for me, there's no excuse not to buy stationery. Some of you might be going back to college, you need stationery. I don't really need stationery, I just love stationery. So I thought, saw this and my eyes were like, bing bing. Right, so we'll start with the monochrome. First of all, just, when I saw these, I, I was like, Erin, Erin. We were at the till on the way, I was like, grab two, grab two. So I got two box files with kind of a, is it a chevron? Let me know in the comments. This is all the monochrome stationery I picked up. So we have got a A4 pad, which says take notes. It's lined, no margin. And I do like a margin, because I like to tick off to-do lists. So that is a pound. I'm not gonna express that everything's a pound, because everything is a pound, so I don't need to go, and that was a pound. We're all embracing, it's a pound. Next, I picked up my favourite pens, and if they're not your favourite pens, you better get yourself some, because they're amazing. Zebra pens. I like the monochrome ones. But they also do the middle of the patterns. Then I saw these, and I thought these were amazing. I thought they looked like they were from Tiger, or from Paper Chase, and they are highlighters, and they are spotty. Not sure how great they're gonna be. I will let you know in a vlog, but I thought they were really lovely. For my desk, because I've got a new office, as you can see, and I've got one desk which is all monochrome stuff. I picked up some white paper clips, and I also picked up some black rubber bands. So if I send something out in the post, they can put a black rubber band in there, but she's so chic. Or, I don't know, either or. I've got a little pad which just says notes with gold on the front. This is A6, lined, no margin. You know, it's fine, I'll get over it. I loved these and I thought these would look great on a desk. If you're at uni or you're at college in your bedroom or if you're 14 and you've got your own office, I really like those, they were amazing. This was a double joy because not only is it a monochrome weekly planner, it's got a magnet on the back. So you could put it on a fridge, you could put it on a filing cabinet, you can put it wherever the hell you like as long as a bit of a metal. That is amazing, it's got the days, priorities to do, love it. So that's the monochrome section. We're now moving to the kind of copper rose gold section, because you know I love those as well. So I've put it in another one of these. Oh, there we go. I will say in the West Brom Poundland, there were actually four different sections with the stationery and it wasn't just in one section. So make sure you have a good look around your stores because you could miss little bits. I nearly missed these files which would have been a travesty so we have got a large weekly planner that's got copper all around the side which is ace to go on a desk or you could perhaps try and put it on a shelf or on your wall so that's really good pads i really like this my little girl loves these for drawing or she's got pen pals now so she really likes using them to write letters they are a4 pads so we have got a marble kind of copper Pink, really lovely, really lovely pads, lined pads there. I didn't see any plain paper pads. Let me know if you see any in there, because that would be really, really good as well. 
Erin wanted this one. It says believe, achieve, repeat, and it's marble. And I really think things like this, you would expect to be in like paper chase. Honestly, you wouldn't you wouldn't even imagine that they'd be from Paraland, so I love that. I can't express how excited I was. You should have seen me, I was literally like, it got to one point where I had to take everything out and really choose what I wanted because I was getting a bit like excessive. This is like a leather effect, copper, rose gold, little pads. The line pad which I thought was really nice. Again, to keep on your desk for a bit of decorative or to take to college or to take to your job and be super fancy. I really love this folder here. So it's copper and black. I would have liked it if they also did the thick ones as well, because I prefer the thick folders to keep all my bits and bobs in. I'm regretful I didn't get more than one of these. I might have to go back, because I think they might look quite nice on their shelves over there. So they'd be good to keep all your bits and bobs in. Let me know what you use your station for. Are you at college? Are you at work? Are you a teacher? Are you just a crazy hoarder of stationery like my good self? Stationery is sexy. This is a fact, my friends. Okay, we have also got another leather effect, A5 notebook, which is really beautiful. I think they make quite nice presents as well. I liked this, which was a marble, 2018-2019 diary. I have got an online diary now, but I quite like to have one of these to hand just at my desk so I can quickly look, you know, so I don't have to log on the computer all the time. Then... I picked up these. These are bulldog clips and they say things like, dream big, I'm very busy, stay classy. That was my favorite one. Stay classy, is that from Anchorman? Great film. So there we go, a pound. We usually play the shop game, don't we wanna do a pound haul? So you can take a shot every time I say a pound, um, say, it, say it costs a pound. And then this I loved because not only did I think it would be great on a desk, I thought this would be amazing for makeup brushes. I thought it was really, really, it looked really nice. And it looks very similar to one that I bought from Urban Outfitters. So that was kind of the rose gold marble section. Now the next section, I'm, la I'm labeling kids. The black rubber bands have made a run for it. I'm labeling kids, but you know, we all love this stuff as well. So this is kind of the stuff that Erin was like, oh, mommy. So there was a little section that was kind of all very similar, like in similar packaging. So we've got ice cream sticky notes. We have got some erasers, which I thought were absolutely brilliant because you know we live a succulent. So I also thought they'd be quite, I think they look quite nice to go in party bags. Because they look a lot more than a pound, I think they'd be good pick up a few bags and shove them in party bags alongside these. Look at those, how lovely are those? They're so cute, they make such a nice present. So we love those. And then there was the Winnie the Pooh stuff. I think there's Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse stuff, but I've not, they didn't have this in that store. So we've got Christopher Robin stuff. We've got 12 cards with foil print. I thought they'd be quite nice for Erin's little pen pals as well. We've got some really nice Christopher Robin alphabet stickers. My children are doing a summer scrapbook at the moment, and that is perfect for that. that some of these things might go in their reward boxes, so they can use those. And then, talking of reward boxes, nice segue there, um, they had these reward charts. I've never seen these in the shops before. They've got the emoji reward chart, where you can write rewards on it and then you can rub it off, and it's got stickers. And then Erin chose the emoji one, but it was a um, unicorn. And it's also got a little, this room belongs to sign. I think they're really, really great. These kind of patterns have been around long. There was a whole emoji stationery section, but I'm not massively into emojis, so I kind of, I'll just avoid that and went for the rose gold. And finally, I loved this. I have no idea where I'm ever gonna use this, but this is the Christopher Robin. It's like sellotape, Christopher Robin sellotape. How cute is that with a Winnie the Pooh arm? I mean, when am I gonna use it? I don't know, but if I ever wanted to use it, now I know it exists. So that's the Poundland Station Hall. What was your favourite bit? That all together cost £30. I spent £31 because I bought a big bag of sweets as well. Um, all came to £30. I think my favourite things that I think look more than what you would think they were, I think this definitely is really good. I wonder if you could even put a candle in it. I think that's really, really good. 
and I also loved these. I thought, oh, I don't think I showed you these, look. You know I love a zebra pen. Rose zebra pens. This is a classic ball pen. Smooth, so I'll let you know how those go as well. How nice are those to my desk? So there we go guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also if you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, leave a little comment, let me know what you use stationery for, if you love stationery. I've got a big bag of Hema stationery over there, or Hema, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, to do, which is a little bit more um, higher price than this lot. I'm gonna try and do in a few different kind of price ranges. Let me know where else you'd like me to shop. I mean, there's Paper Chase, but Paper Chase is quite expensive, but you know. I suppose I could do it for you lot, force myself to buy stationery. I love you lots and I will see you very soon for another upload. Night guys!